Hi guys, and welcome to part 3 of the uh, scouting series, and this one is uh, active scouting. So I have previously done a passive scouting game, uh, this one is active scouting, and uh, the main difference is in passive scouting you rely on your camo rating, and uh, you find a nice spot, usually in a bush, to spot enemies for your team to shoot. In active spotting, you again are spotting enemies for uh, your team to shoot, but instead of relying on your camo rating, you're relying on your speed and mobility to avoid enemy gunfire. Uh, I'm here with my T-71, which is one of my favorite tanks in the world of tanks. I gain, it's another tank like the uh, Chaffee in a previous uh, video, where I have no problems going up against uh, tier 10s, and in this particular game we are up against tier 9s. Um, I am platooned on Fisherman Bay, again with Black Ghost and Hawkster from the BSM community, and again they are uh, using their arty, they are grinding their arty, so it is my job to scout for them. So initially, when I got into this particular game, I was quite happy that it was a tier 9, lots of tier 8s, and uh, that means there's a lots of uh, potential hit points floating around the battlefield, which means lots of potential spotting damage. However, we also have a Chaffee on our team. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, and to make things worse, we have a WZ-132, so we have three scouts on our team. And uh, normally, I would head up to the uh, center line, along the uh, E line, up to the little village, and spot from there. Um, but, with three scouts, it's going to get crowded. However, in the early game, there really isn't another option, and... Uh, that's where I end up going. Now, this again is a video about active scouting, active spotting, using your tank speed and mobility. Um, I don't have six cents. So, this uh, in this particular game, I don't have six cents. So, passive scouting, if I were to try it and I got spotted, I would die. Um, so, really, I don't have a choice. Um, this early in uh, my T-71 experience, I needed to be active because to sit still in a light tank, if you don't have six cents, you usually die pretty quickly. Now, my priority is to spot for my platoon mates in their arty, and uh, as I say, I am competing with two other scouts in this game. Uh, this game is also subtitled, um, Shh, be very, very quiet, we're hunting tigers. So uh, you're going to see what I mean by that uh, a little bit later. So we're going to start the replay, and uh, here we go. Active scouting. So uh, we are going to uh, head up to the uh, village. And uh, as you can see, the uh, to my right, the Chaffee and the WZ-132 have the same idea. Now because they're to my right, I decide to... Uh, head left, but then change my mind, and I decide to go right again. And uh, first target is spotted. I don't know whether I spotted uh, the, that tank or whether uh, the other guys did. But we're just uh, staying on the move. Till now, I uh, push forward, and uh, I'm trying to do a little bit of passive scouting here. So I pull back a little bit, I don't want to be spotted, again I don't have six cents. So I'm not spotting these guys right here. I don't realize it at the time, but I'm too far back from the bush to be able to see through it. So uh, someone takes a shot at a scout behind me. So again, I'm not spotting these guys, and it takes me a while to realize my mistake. So there we go. I've realized, I push forward, We've lost all sight of whatever's in the field. So I'm uh, quite brave here. I do a quick 
turn and uh, realize that, okay, there's no one in the field. So that means that the entire enemy team are either going to be on the 1-2 uh, lines or they're going to be in town. And as of yet, we have not had anyone scouting on the 1-2 lines and it's not very well protected. So uh, I need to go over here and uh, I'm using these bushes to make my approach. And again, I stop, but there's the problem. Scouting without six cents. I thought I was safe. The uh, T20 put two shots into me, so I've got to get out of here. RT's gone for me. Two RT have gone for me. And the T20 dies. So I did spot the T20. He paid for it with his life. And again, I have no idea what's down on the 1-2 lines, but I need to spot for my platoon mates. Most of the enemy tanks seem to be in town, but there's still a few that haven't been spotted. So here we go, we're hunting tigers. I'm spotting this guy for our arty. So I've spotted him, he goes into stealth, I advance, I spot him again. Now I could rush this guy down, get behind him, and uh, try and kill him, but I don't know what tanks he has behind him. There's still some tanks on the map that haven't been spotted. So my priority, as I say, is to help my platoon mates, help my arty, and just keep this guy lit up. He has no idea I'm here, I'm relying on my camera rating. And uh, my uh, platoon mates are putting in some good shots, so he's dropped off radar. Need to get him on radar again. There we go. So he's falling back. And he wouldn't do that if he had backup. And I'm starting to feel a little bit braver. Perhaps he doesn't have any backup. Otherwise he wouldn't be retreating. So we spotted him. He's gone stealth again. We need to move forward and spot him again for our RT. Oh, he's in the open, and uh, he may have spotted me. I don't know. He didn't turn his gun towards me, but I'm not taking chances. I'm staying on the move, and he's off radar again. So I don't want enemy arty aiming at me. So I reverse up here and make a mistake. I get him back on radar, but I knock down a tree. So he knows I'm here. So I get out of there very quickly, and... Uh, Hawkster puts a lovely shot into him. He goes on fire, he's out of here, and Tiger Hunt has been successful. So now it is time to move. Enemy team still have three tanks and three RT in play. One of our scouts has uh, found a couple of tanks in uh, their spawn. I go for a shot in the M41, but my gun depression lets me down. Okay. Looks as if my preferences are mixed up and you can't see, so I'm going to go into uh, free cam here. Save me having to edit my uh, preferences. I don't fire very many shots. So I advance on this IS, and again, without six cents, I had no idea I was spotted. I thought I was keeping the bush between me and him, but uh, he put a shot into me. I know his reload is uh, quite long, so... Uh, I decide I am going to uh, change direction and uh, I'm going to beat his uh, turret traverse by uh, circling him to death. Unfortunately, I bounce a couple of shots. RT is getting interested in me. I only have one shot left and I figure, you know what, it's a waste of my time. The guy's about to die anyway. So, Let's go uh, get some revenge on uh, Artie. I go for a reload. Not too many enemy tanks left. Don't know where the T-69 is, but uh, two Artie are still in play. There's one. There's the other. So again, probably haven't spotted me, but uh, they die before I get there. 
and uh, T95 and T69 left. Still don't know where the T69 is. But we make a B line. Oh, T69's in the village. But I'm going to sneak up on this T95. My Both of my platoon our teammates put a shot into him. I'm bouncing off the back. And finally, Ninja, a 45 hit point kill for my only kill of the game. So, uh, yeah, this uh, game again was not about an amazing scouting performance. It was simply demonstrating the difference between passive scouting and active scouting, where you stay on the move and uh, you use your speed and mobility to uh, spot tanks for your uh, teammates as opposed to sitting in a bush and uh, not moving. Let's look at the uh, end results and uh, we ended up getting 33,637 credits for that game which is not bad in a scout um, and a nice 2666 um, experience. We ended up getting patrol duty so we didn't get scout. There were too many scouts on our team for uh, my liking, but uh, we did manage to get patrol duty, which means that uh, six tanks we spotted while we were spotting them were hit by teammates. Uh, we'll take a look at the team score, and uh, again, it wasn't a great game, but I still managed to come first. Uh, didn't do a lot of damage, in fact, how did I do on in the grand scheme of things? I came second last on damage, only the Chaffee came last, and that is he still managed to get two kills with 128 damage, so I thought my last kill on the T95 was a kill steal. This guy was showing people how it was done. So I came second last on damage, but I came first on uh, XP. And uh, this is how effective scouting can be. Uh, how did we manage to come first? Well, again, it wasn't due to our damage. We didn't do any. Uh, it wasn't due to... Uh, enemies detected there were too many scouts uh, but it was down to uh, spotting damage so we managed to do 3419 and again I have done spotting damage games that are much much higher but it was enough to come first in this particular game and I think it's a good example of active scouting so again it's a uh, we made a healthy profit after uh, repairs and ammo of 25,000 credits and like I say 1,333 base XP with premium doubled to 2,666. So uh, it was a fun little game and uh, I think it demonstrates a marked difference between uh, passive scouting and active scouting. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you next time.